An Ugly Man Chapter 1, The Outsider In a small village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a man named Thomas. Thomas was unlike the other villagers, his appearance was marred by a face that many considered ugly. His features were asymmetrical, his nose crooked, and his teeth uneven. Despite his kind heart and gentle demeanor, Thomas was shunned by his peers, and relegated to the outskirts of society. From a young age, Thomas learned to endure the taunts and jeers of his fellow villagers. He sought solace in the beauty of nature, finding companionship among the trees and streams that surrounded the village. But try as he might, Thomas could not escape the loneliness that gnawed at his soul, constant reminder of his status as an outsider. Chapter 2 A Glimmer of Hope One fateful day, as Thomas wandered the forest in search of peace, he stumbled upon a hidden glade bathed in golden sunlight. In the center of the glade stood a majestic oak tree, its branches reaching towards the sky like outstretched arms. Intrigued by the serene beauty of the place, Thomas approached closer, his heart filled with wonder. As he gazed upon the ancient oak, Thomas felt a sense of belonging wash over him, as if the tree welcomed him with open arms. For the first time in his life, he felt a glimmer of hope, hope that perhaps he was not as alone as he had once believed. Chapter 3 The Mysterious Stranger as Thomas lingered in the glade, lost in reverie, a voice startled him from his thoughts. Beautiful, isn't it? said a voice from behind. Startled, Thomas turned to see a mysterious stranger standing at the edge of the clearing. The stranger was tall and imposing, with piercing blue eyes that seemed to see straight through him. Yes, it is, Thomas replied, his voice barely above a whisper. The stranger smiled warmly, his eyes twinkling with mischief. I thought I was the only one who knew about this place, he said, stepping closer. As the stranger approached, Thomas felt a strange sense of familiarity wash over him, as if he had known the man his entire life. Intrigued by the stranger's presence, Thomas invited him to sit beneath the oak tree, where they talked late into the night sharing stories and laughter beneath the stars. Chapter 4 A Friendship Blossoms In the days that followed, Thomas and the mysterious stranger grew closer, their bond deepening with each passing moment. Despite their differences in appearance, they found common ground in their shared love of nature and their longing for acceptance. As they wandered the forest together, Thomas learned that the stranger's name was Elijah and that he too had experienced the sting of rejection in his past. But unlike Thomas, Elijah refused to let the cruelty of others define him, choosing instead to embrace his uniqueness and forge his path in life. Inspired by Elijah's resilience, Thomas began to see himself in a new light, no longer defined by the harsh judgments of others. With Elijah by his side, he dared to dream of a future filled with possibility, where acceptance and friendship were not just fleeting fantasies, but tangible realities. Chapter 5 The Festival of Lights As the village prepared for its annual festival of lights, Thomas and Elijah found themselves swept up in the excitement of the occasion. The streets were alive with music and laughter, as villagers adorned themselves in colorful costumes and adorned the town square with lanterns and decorations. Despite his initial hesitation, Thomas agreed to accompany Elijah to the festival, eager to experience the joy and camaraderie of the event. As they wandered the crowded streets, Thomas couldn't help but marvel at the sense of community that permeated the air, a stark contrast to the isolation he had known for so long. As night fell and the lanterns were lit, Thomas and Elijah joined the villagers in a joyful procession through the streets, their hearts filled with a sense of belonging that they had never known before. 
For the first time in his life, Thomas felt truly alive, as if the weight of the world had been lifted from his shoulders. Chapter 6, A Test of Friendship But as the night wore on, a shadow fell over the festivities, casting a pall of darkness over the village. Rumors began to spread of a fearsome beast lurking in the forest, preying upon unsuspecting travelers who dared to venture into its domain. Fearing for the safety of their fellow villagers, the townsfolk gathered in the town square, debating what course of action to take. Some called for a brave few to venture into the forest and slay the beast, while others advocated for caution, warning of the dangers that lurked in the darkness. Unable to stand idly by while his friends and neighbors lived in fear, Thomas stepped forward, his voice ringing out above the clamor of the crowd. I will go, he declared, his eyes filled with determination. But before he could take another step, Elijah stepped forward, placing a hand on Thomas's shoulder. We will go, he said firmly, his gaze unwavering. And so, with the fate of the village hanging in the balance, Thomas and Elijah set out into the forest, determined to confront the beast and restore peace to their home. Chapter 7, Into the Darkness As Thomas and Elijah ventured deeper into the forest, the air grew thick with tension, the sounds of the village fading into the distance. Around them, the trees loomed like silent sentinels, their branches casting eerie shadows upon the forest floor. Despite the darkness that surrounded them, Thomas felt a strange sense of calm wash over him, as if he were being guided by an unseen hand. Beside him, Elijah walked with a confidence that belied his years, his eyes scanning the shadows for any sign of danger. Hours passed as they journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, the moon casting its silvery light upon their path. And then, just as they were beginning to lose hope, they heard it, a low, guttural growl emanating from the darkness ahead. With hearts pounding in their chests, Thomas and Elijah pressed forward, their senses on high alert. As they rounded a bend in the path, they came face to face with the beast, a fearsome creature with eyes that glowed like embers in the night. Chapter 8, The Beast Within As the beast loomed before them, Thomas felt a surge of fear wash over him, threatening to paralyze him where he stood. But before he could retreat, Elijah stepped forward, his voice steady and calm. We mean you no harm, he said, his words echoing through the darkness. To their surprise, the beast's demeanor softened, its growls giving way to plaintive whimpers. As they approached closer, Thomas and Elijah saw that the creature was not a beast at all, but rather a wounded animal in need of help. With gentle hands, they tended to the creature's wounds, soothing its fears with soft words and kind gestures. And as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, they led the creature back to the village, where it was welcomed with open arms. Chapter 9, A New Beginning As news of Thomas and Elijah's bravery spread throughout the village, the townsfolk hailed them as heroes, celebrating their courage and selflessness in the face of danger. But for Thomas and Elijah, the greatest reward was not the adoration of the crowd, but the knowledge that they had made a difference in the lives of others. With the threat of the beast vanquished, the village was once again at peace, its residents free to go about their lives without fear or apprehension. As the days turned into weeks, Thomas and Elijah's friendship blossomed, their bond growing stronger with each passing moment. But even as they reveled in their newfound happiness, a shadow loomed on the horizon, a reminder that darkness still lurked in the corners of the world, waiting to test their resolve once more. Chapter 10, The Return of the Darkness One night, as Thomas and Elijah sat beneath the stars, a sense of unease settled over the village, the air thick with foreboding. Sensing danger in the wind, 
Thomas and Elijah set out into the forest once more, determined to uncover the source of the darkness that threatened to engulf them. As they journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, they came upon a clearing bathed in an eerie green light. In the center of the clearing stood a figure cloaked in darkness, its eyes blazing with malevolent intent. With a shiver of dread, Thomas and Elijah realized that they had stumbled upon a being of unspeakable evil, a creature born of darkness and despair, hell-bent on bringing ruin to all who crossed its path. Chapter 11, The Battle Begins With no time to lose, Thomas and Elijah sprang into action, their hearts filled with determination as they prepared to confront the dark entity before them. Drawing upon the strength of their friendship, they stood side by side, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. But as they squared off against the creature, they quickly realized that their foe was unlike anything they had ever encountered before. Its powers were vast and terrible, its very presence casting a pall of darkness over the forest. Undeterred, Thomas and Elijah fought with all their might, summoning every ounce of courage and determination they possessed. With each blow they struck, the creature grew weaker, its dark form flickering like a dying ember in the night. But just as victory seemed within their grasp, the creature unleashed a final, desperate attack, its dark energy engulfing Thomas in a swirling vortex of shadows. Chapter 12, The Power of Friendship As darkness closed in around him, Thomas felt a sense of despair wash over him, threatening to consume him whole. But just as he was about to succumb to the darkness, a voice called out to him from the depths of his soul, the voice of Elijah, his steadfast friend and companion. With a surge of newfound strength, Thomas reached out to Elijah, his fingers grasping desperately for purchase. And as their hands met, a blinding light erupted from within them driving back the darkness and illuminating the forest with its radiant glow. Together, Thomas and Elijah unleashed the full power of their friendship, channeling their love and devotion into a force of pure light that banished the darkness from the forest once and for all. As the last echoes of the battle faded into the night, Thomas and Elijah stood victorious, their bonds stronger than ever before. And as they made their way back to the village, they knew that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, side by side, until the end of days. Chapter 13, A New Dawn With the darkness vanquished and peace restored to the land, Thomas and Elijah returned to the village as heroes, their bravery celebrated by all who knew them. But for Thomas, the greatest reward was not the adulation of the crowd, but the knowledge that he had found a true friend in Elijah, someone who accepted him for who he was, flaws and all. As the days turned into weeks, Thomas and Elijah continued to wander the forest together, their bond growing stronger with each passing day. And though they faced many challenges along the way, they knew that as long as they had each other, they could overcome anything that life threw their way. And so, as the sun set on another day in the village, Thomas and Elijah sat beneath the stars, their hearts full of gratitude for the friendship that had changed their lives forever. And as they looked up at the night sky, they knew that no matter what adventures awaited them in the future, they would face them together, as friends. Chapter 14, The Legacy of Friendship in the years that followed, Thomas and Elijah's friendship became the stuff of legend, their story was passed down from generation to generation as a testament to the power of love and loyalty, and though they eventually grew old and grey, their bond remained as strong as ever, a beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness. As the village prospered and thrived, Thomas and Elijah's legacy lived on, inspiring others to embrace their differences and celebrate the unique qualities that made them who they were. For in the end, it was not their appearance that defined them, but the goodness of their hearts and the strength of their friendship. 
And so, as the years turned into decades, Thomas and Elijah's story continued to be told. A timeless reminder that no matter how dark the world may seem, the light of friendship will always prevail in the end. Chapter 15 A New Beginning As Thomas and Elijah's journey came to an end, a new chapter began for the village, one filled with hope and promise for the future. And though they were no longer there to witness it, their spirit lived on in the hearts of those they had touched, guiding them on their paths to friendship and understanding. And so, as the sun rose on a new day in the village, the people gathered to honor the memory of Thomas and Elijah, their voices raised in song and celebration. And as they looked out upon the world that lay before them, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them with courage and determination, knowing that the power of friendship would always light their way. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, we post a similar story on our other channel, Go English Story. So if you're interested in, broader topic related to both channels, check us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to both channels for more interesting stories.